I'm just gonna admit it. I hate social media. I hate that people, like, take advantage and they say the most meanest, insensitive fucking shit to people. I hate the fact that they never listen. They never learn their lesson. It doesn't matter if someone ends their life. They just continue to be pricks. That, like, they don't care if someone took their life. And it makes me absolutely sick. And they try to push around a narrative like you're trying to make it about yourself. And it's like... I'm trying to put awareness out here. And I think I think they put this thing together um, in all honesty, trying to be like, oh, you're making this about you um, because someone committed suicide because of cyberbullying. And I think they try to do that because they're trying to get out of culpability over what they've done. They they don't want to take responsibility that their behavior has caused someone to end their life. And they want people to be silent over it. They want to make a joke out of it. They They want to make it, let's try to point our fingers at these people so we don't get looked at that we actually killed someone. And you did. You killed little, little mama. You killed her. And you know it. And it doesn't matter what kind of excuses you give. What 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 kind of like, oh, she was sick. But you still pushed her to the edge. Like her husband says it. Her kids are saying it. Oh, they're the liars. You're the one telling the truth. Even though you do push people all the time. And you don't even listen. You don't even learn. You just use fucking excuses. And it's disgusting. It's, it's, it's infuriating, in fact, to know there's so many people out there that is willing to ignore that someone committed suicide because of cyberbullying. And these people, instead of actually putting awareness out there that someone died because of cyberbullying, they'll be like, oh, you're trying to make this about you. That's called gaslighting. That's called gaslighting. Guess what? I'm still going to say it. A mother of five committed suicide because of you guys. A mother of five committed suicide because of you guys. Because of people with your mentality where you have to be cruel to people for no fucking reason other than you hear other people don't like another person on the internet because of this, this, this reason. So that means you forever have to treat someone like a piece of fucking shit, right? Un until they kill themselves. And then after they finally kill themselves, what do you fuckers do? Oh, anyone who tries to mention it. Oh, you're trying to make this about yourself. No, you tried to make her life about you. You made her focus on herself so bad and made her think that she was such an awful person because you're always fucking pointing fingers. Always pointing fingers. Always pointing fucking fingers. A mother of five is dead. Five kids are without their mother because of nonsense behavior. Bad behavior on the internet. Because people don't want to be polite. A mother of five is dead. Five children are without their mother. Has nothing to do with me. Five children are missing their mother because you will not correct your behavior. Instead, you give excuses for your behavior on how you treat others. Five children are without a mother because you don't want to change your bad behavior toward others. 
five children are without a mother because you decide to cyber bully and treat people like shit. Five children are without a mother. Do you get that? Five children are without a mother. Because of bad behavior. Because of your bad behavior. Because you push people over the edge. Do you get that? Five children without a mother. Do you get that? This is why I don't even want to return to social media. This is why I don't want to have anything to do with social media. Because my I look at the scars on my fucking wrist. I look at the scars on my wrist and I'm like, I did all that because of these assholes on the internet. You cause people to want to die. You cause people to want to commit suicide. And instead of, uh, instead of taking responsibility for your shitty fucking attitudes, you try to point the fingers at the people trying to bring awareness that a mother of five is without, or five children are without their mother. A mother of five is dead because of cyberbullying. And you want to ignore your behavior and continue down the line of being a shit person and push more people to the edge to commit suicide. How many people have to die before you realize, oh, I guess I did have a shitty behavior. I guess I am a shitty fucking people person. Oh, oh, oh. You want to judge people. You want to tell people that they're like awful all the time and point their fucking fingers at them. You don't care that a mother of five is dead. You don't care that five children are crying without their mother because you don't want to change your behavior. And the excuses I've heard. And the bullshit I've heard. I want nothing to do with you people. You're disgusting. Horrible people. Horrible. A mother f of five is dead because of cyberbullying. A mother of five is dead because of cyberbullying. Five children Without their mother. And you think I give a fuck about fucking social media? Knowing that's how you push people? Knowing for a fact you've pushed me there so many times. And I spent so many times in a white fucking room because I fucking slipped my wrists. You did it to my son. I said, please, stop. Stop doing this and calling CPS. My son is becoming suicidal because of it. What do you do? What do you do? You twist it. You're exploiting your son. Look, you're exploiting your son. Look, you're exploiting your son. Instead of correcting your behavior, what caused the problem?